Reflect about your typical decision-making pattern. Do you tend to choose things in absolute terms or relative to something else? My name is Giuseppe Conti, I'm a business school professor and the founder of Conti Advanced Business Learning, a company that specializes in negotiation and influencing. Now, the research indicates that most of the times we make relative decisions. We compare things that are similar. Otherwise stated, we compare vacations with vacations, bosses with bosses, partners with partners. Now, the one spin about the relativity effect is that we like to compare things which are easily comparable. And this creates opportunity for persuasion. Let me explain it to you with an example. Let's imagine that you want to go on vacation to Venice, Italy, and you're working with a travel agency to organize all your trip. Now, the travel agency offers you the choice between two hotels. A three-star hotel, which is five minutes away from the city center, and a four-star hotel, which is 15 minutes away from the city center. Now, in this kind of scenario, people will make the choice based on their personal preferences. Now, let's imagine that the travel agency wants to encourage you to buy the more expensive hotel. Then what they could do, they could include another option which is easily comparable to the one that they want to sell you, but inferior. Let me understand how this will work. Now, in this kind of scenario, you will be offered with three choices the same three-star hotel five minutes away from the city center, the same four-star hotel 15 minutes away from the city center, but then the third option will be another four-star hotel but 25 minutes away from the city center. Then what is likely to happen is that you compare the two things which are easily comparable, so the two four-star hotels, and you will end up getting the four-star hotel which is 15 minutes away from the city center. So the technique is really to add another option which is inferior to the one that they want to choose because this will make shine more the option that you want to highlight. As you can imagine, this technique is likely to be used for manipulation purposes. Now, maybe a real estate agency that wants to sell you a house they will also show you an inferior house, which is very similar, so that you will be more inclined to buy the house that they really want to sell you. So to protect yourself against manipulation, be clear about your preferences before your offer with choice, only buy what you really need, and be cautious when presented with three options. For more insights on negotiation and influencing, check our website www.cabl.ch Thank you.